Good day to you and welcome to Studio 5 Uncut. Here we have the pleasure of sharing extended conversations with some of the great guests we've had on Studio 5 throughout the weeks. And this week we're going behind the scenes of a reality mini-series called Rebuild and Restore. It's really part home renovation and all parts inspiration. As audiences see the renovation of a widow's home and watch her move through the journey of grief. We're joined by the co-host Shannon Fields who actually became a widow herself just as production of the show began. She's sharing the story with us too, but first, here's a look at Rebuild and Restore before we begin that Studio 5 Uncut conversation. I'm Ken Fletcher. And I'm Shannon Fields, and we're the hosts of Rebuild and Restore. Ow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Rebuild and Restore is a home makeover show where we help widows and their families. Along the way, there's plenty of challenges. Minutes, hurry. The clock is always your worst enemy. We need like another 15 minutes and we'll have it done. And the payoff of each show is the big reveal. Oh my oh. God! <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yes! Well, it's getting better. Wow! Oh, you guys did a lot of work. On Rebuild and Restore, you'll laugh, you'll cry. But ultimately, we hope you're inspired to help widows in your own community. So, uh, Shannon, how did this series get started and how did you get involved? Oh, goodness. So, um, I met uh, my co-host, Ken Fletcher, at a film festival here in Atlanta. And he was working for Pure Flix at the time, but he had this uh, creative... Um, thought to uh, do a reality show to help widows and ask that um, if I would consider co-hosting. And um, of course, I'm like, I, I already love to um, uplift women and this would be like the perfect thing for me to do. Tell me about um, what gave you the heart for, for widows? What was it? You know, it's just at that time, that particular time, it was just women in general. It was just to, I've always just had a heart to help women, um, I guess you'd say, do more than they think they can. Um, that if they have that weight of the world, um, I wanted to be that person to say, you know, you got this and we can do this together. So that was kind of already there um, before all, all of my journey just switched uh, through the making of the of Rebuild and Restore. Mm. Let's talk about that journey. So you're in the process of making Rebuild and Restore and you guys are doing home renovations for widows. What happens to you? So um, we have a little mini series that we started and we knew that we were gonna take it small to see where it would go. And um, during the first episode that we were filming, which is our pilot episode, um, my husband was having some problems um, with his shoulder and different things, and uh, he's a football coach. He lifts, lifted weights and all the things, so we didn't think anything about it. And by the time we were filming the second um, episode, he had been diagnosed with ALS, uh, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and it is a fatal disease. And that was also the episode of my sister. My sister's husband passed away one year and four months before my husband passed away. Because during the third uh, episode, he passed away. He uh, lived a short 11 months, um, but he was the picture of strength. And he left, uplifted so many people, I can't, I've lost count. Um, but it was just devastating to us to get that news. And I had never dreamed in a million years that when I was cast to help widows, um, that I was going to become a widow. Our conversation is just getting started. So stay with us for so much more. We'll be right back. So you become a widow in the process of doing a series to help widows. First, what makes you continue to, to work on the series following? You know, I see things now from a different point of view, different eyes, I guess you'd say. I went into this thinking I was going to help heal uh, the widow, and instead now we help each other heal forward. 
Um, we have a, a really unique bond um, that when she says, I can't sleep at night, I get it. Um, I couldn't have said that before and nobody would ever want the title of widow, I can tell you. But here we are and there's a lot of us out there and they're not just your older uh, individuals that, that lose spouses because a lot of times you think widow, you think, you know, 80. There's a lot of young, young people with young uh, kids. There's so many out there. So I feel like we're stronger together and that we heal forward together now. Tell me about some of the women you meet in this series or we get to meet. Who stands out oh, most? Oh my goodness. It's, they're so amazing. It's, it's, uh, they're all different, all unique. They all have different lives, different journeys. But um, we have formed a sisterhood that uh, it's really, really amazing because when we, we have met up a couple of times at different events like a widow's event or different things and we just run to each other and hug. It's just, it's so different than your original, just I'm going to film a movie or film a TV show to help them. This is, you're, you're doing life with them. And so that's what we do. We do life together. We're here for each other. Um, we don't see each other every day, but we have our phone number. You can call. We can call each other at any time. What's the hope for the series once people begin um, watching it and seeing it? What's your hope? Yeah, so um, we know that people watch it. They're going to laugh. They're going to cry. But we don't want uh, them to just stop there and cut the TV off. We want them to be inspired to go help another widow, to start um, a group or something in their community. Um, because I'm, I'm telling you, a widow's not gonna say, hey, can you come cut my grass? Um, but if you see that they need their grass cut, go cut their grass, don't even ask, go take them a meal. So we want to inspire people to um, just to help a widow in their community. What's the response been like from those receiving the help. I can only imagine the tears shed. What's the yeah, response been like? It's, it's been great. It's been, um, I don't know, it's kind of um, a, a different type of thing. So when you first get started, the widow has to kind of clear out because we're a TV show. We have to come in, they have to clear out so we can like change something in their home or, but they're kind of forced to face things that they might not face maybe later. And uh, all the widows, it's like, you know, I was kind of forced to do that, but there is a healing in me going through all the things. And then at the end result, um, something that I needed, that person needed, got reformed and changed to help better their life with, with her and the children. And it's a physical thing. Um, like some is outside, the, the lawn, the front and the back needed completely redone. Um, some of them is the kitchen, the basement gets turned into something amazing. Um, these families, they are um, so overjoyed and definitely tears stream down of happiness there though. Yeah, so are we looking at a, an internal and external renovation? Yes, there is, um, so it's a mini series right now. We are um, hoping and praying that uh, the Lord would send us a sponsor and that we can continue this because it's more than a TV show, but it's, you know, it's the real world. We have to uh, have sponsors and things to keep moving. But um, yeah, so you have outside and you have inside and you have basement. I mean, it's just, and the kids in it, some are young and some are older, so it's just really kind of a neat mix there. And I'm imagining that it's not just a renovation of home, but a renovation of heart that happens during this process as well. That's exactly right. So we, uh, my co-host Ken Fletcher comes in with um, the team and um, just restores, uh, rebuilds rather something in their home and I come in with my partner from Widow Strong, uh, Michelle Presky, and we kind of um, restore the heart, mm -hmm. at what, least a little bit. What's this done for you? 
Oh my goodness. It is, it is definitely helping me heal. I mean, I'm in my eighth going into my ninth month. Very, I mean, I'm still in my first year of losing my spouse, the love of my life. And just being able to reach out to these women, um, there's healing. I mean, grief is a journey and everybody grieves differently. And there, there's some days, you know, I need help getting off the couch and so that we help each other. And I want to be that person to help another widow get off the couch. And then there's other days we just need to be. We just need to just stay at home, watch a movie, and then that's part of healing too. But being a part of Rebuild and Restore, um, it's more than a TV show. It's a community. Um, it's serving others, which is what we're called to do. Absolutely. Any scriptures getting you through and helping these women to get through? Oh, my goodness. You know, um, not necessarily just one. Um, the Rebuild and Restore is centered around, it is centered around James 127, where God instructs us to help widows and orphans. So that's probably the main one because that's what is, you know, in the Bible. And like, this, that's what we're doing. We're living out what God um, is telling us to do. If Shannon Fields looks familiar, you are not mistaken. The series co-host is also an actress. She starred in films like Facing the Giants, My Brother's Keeper, and Order of Rights. But she has much more to share when it comes to her latest project, Rebuild and Restore. We hope you'll stick around because we will be right back. Did you envision this for yourself when you began and signed on to do this? I imagine you, this may not be what you thought you were signing up for. No, I mean, I'm a, a film and TV actress and I, I'm also, you know, a Christian woman that also likes to serve and to um, help and challenge and inspire other women. But when you are the woman that uh, is now standing in the shoes that you thought that you were going to be the one inspiring. It changes everything. It, it, it changes the whole thing. So now it's different when I walk on set. It's not I'm walking on set and I'm getting my hair and my makeup done. I'm going to do a show. It's we're a community of people just coming together to just love one another. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing. It's, this is a very unique show. Uh, sounds very exciting. How many episodes in the series? So we only have three. We have so many widows right now that we're ready to launch as soon as we get the green light. Um, yeah, and then a part of that, I'm going to be one of those. Um, uh, the audience wants me to tell some of my story. And that'll probably be the toughest one yet. But um, I'm here on this earth. I'm not going to quit. I call myself a widow warrior, just like all of these other women. Um, I'm not going to quit. We have just such a short time on this earth. And um, I want to do what God's called me to do, and that's to serve and help others. Are you finding that the widows feel like they've been forgotten? Um, you know, it's so different. Some of them, it's a struggle because, I mean, they always had their spouse to lean on and their partner. And, and then when they're not there, they do feel like they're doing it alone. Um, and I'm sure they have, a, some of them have more of a support system than others. I have such an amazing support system and I'm so thankful. My kids are adult kids. Um, so that's good. But that's why I feel like the community and people need to reach out to widows and they don't have to say a whole lot. Just, just, you know, actions speak very, very loud. And, um, but widows, not just in the first year, I mean, they, they need continual uh, support because it's, it's a healing journey. It's not, um, okay, this happened and, and then let's heal and let's move on. And we do move forward, but it, it does take a lot of love and support. And stay with us. we got a final word from Shannon Fields when we come back. My last question for you, uh, I like to ask people is if you could go back in time and give young Shannon a word of encouragement or advice, what would you tell her? 
Oh, not worry so much and trust, uh, tr trust God, because that was my struggle early on is um, trying to do things on my own and not completely trust in that. He knows better than I know because I think that I do. Um, so I would tell myself, you know, just just chill out and let and let God do it because even though it doesn't seem um, that it's going your way or going the way that you're asking and praying, God is always working for our good and our benefit. And sometimes he says no, and that's a good thing. And that's a wrap for this episode of Studio 5 Uncut. Until next time, make time to uplift someone else. Bye-bye, everybody.